Hello, dear students. Today we are going to express our opinions. Open your books at page 36, exercise 1. Listen and repeat. What was it like? It was fantastic. The dancers were amazing. Did you enjoy it? Not really. It was nothing special. Now let's tell which sentences are to ask for an opinion. They are questions. What was it like? Did you enjoy it? Express a positive opinion. It was fantastic. The dancers were amazing. And to express negative opinion. Not really. It was nothing special. Now let's read and listen to the dialogue. Hi Jane, it's Aidar. I tried calling you on Saturday night, but you didn't answer your phone. Oh, hi Aidar. Yes, sorry. I was at the ballet. Really? What was it like? It was fantastic. The dancers were amazing. What did you do on Saturday? Oh, I just stayed home with my brother and we watched a film on TV. Did you enjoy it? Not really. It was nothing special. Listen, do you want to go for a walk later? Sure. What did Jane and Aidar do on Saturday? Did they like it? Jane was at the ballet. Aidar watched a film with his brother at home. Jane enjoyed the ballet. Aidar didn't enjoy the film. Jane was at the ballet. Aidar watched a film with his brother. Exercise 3. Find sentences in the dialogue which mean Of course. Sure. What did you think of it? What was it like? Did you have a good time? Did you enjoy it? It wasn't great. It was nothing special. In exercise 4, you are to imagine you saw a performance last Saturday and your partner is asking you about it. Use the sentences in the dialogue below to write or act out your dialogue. Listen to the model. Hi Mary, it's Neuro. I tried calling you on Saturday night, but you didn't answer your phone. Oh, hi, Nero. Yes, sorry. I was at the theatre. Really? What was it like? It was fantastic. The show was amazing. What did you do on Saturday? Oh, I just stayed home with my brother and we watched a DVD. Did you enjoy it? Not really. It was nothing special. Listen, do you want to go for a walk later? Sure. In exercise 5. We are to going to talk about intonation. Listen and repeat. Really? If we express interest, surprise or enthusiasm, our intonation is rising. Really? If we express disbelief, annoyance, the intonation falls. Now let's listen and take the adjectives that best describe each speaker's feeling. You can use your dictionary. Listen again and repeat. The first. I don't believe it. A. Annoyed. The second. What's the problem? A. Interested. The third. Sure. B. Disbelieving. And the fourth. No way. Surprised. A. And now let's speak about festivals around the world. Open your books at page 37. Exercise 1. Look at the pictures. What festivals do they show? What do you know about these festivals? Listen to the opinion. The festivals are Shakespeare's birthday and the festival of nomadic civilization. Before reading the text, Let's get acquainted with new words. Listen to them and write down in your vocabularies. Aspect 
birth, craft, grave, introduction, lead, leader, legacy, marching band, mayor, nomad, parade, playwright, symbolize, yurt. Now let's read the text. Festivals around the world. Shakespeare's birthday. The famous playwright William Shakespeare was probably born on the twenty-third of April, the same day that he died fifty-two years later in sixteen sixteen. On this day each year. There is a parade to celebrate him in Stratford upon Avon, the town of Shakespeare's birth in the UK. A local teenager leads the parade and carries the quill, an old-fashioned writing instrument which symbolizes how important Shakespeare was for British literature. Behind the leader come people in traditional costumes, marching bands, and schoolchildren. Everyone makes their way to Holy Trinity Church, where the mayor puts flowers on Shakespeare's grave. After the parade, there are concerts, competitions, and dancing. People from far and wide come together to celebrate Shakespeare's life, work, and legacy. Festival of Nomadic Civilization. For thousands of years, the Central Asian Steppe has been home to horse-riding nomads. Although a lot of Kazakhs now live in cities, they haven't forgotten their rich culture. Every year in July. Astana is home to the festival of nomadic civilization, the only festival in the world celebrating traditional nomadic culture. Yurts are set around the Kanshatir shopping center, creating a mini tent village where visitors can experience every aspect of steppe culture, from food and traditional crafts to music and dance performances. It's a truly amazing experience and a great introduction to the fascinating traditions of Kazakhstan. Exercise two: You are to read the text again and answer the questions. Where was William Shakespeare born? He was born in Stratford upon Avon. What does the local teenager leading the parade carry? We see he carries the quill. Who puts flowers on Shakespeare's grave? We see the mayor. Us. Where is the festival of nomadic civilization held? We see that Astana is home to the festival. What can people see or do at the festival? According to the text, visitors can experience every aspect of the steppe culture, from food and traditional crafts to music and dance performances. And what makes the festival of nomadic civilization unique? Listen to the opinion. It is the only festival in the world that celebrates traditional nomadic culture. And watch the video. April twenty third, England celebrates William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is England's most famous writer. He was born on the twenty-third of April, fifteen sixty-four, in Stratford upon Avon. He died fifty-two years later on guess which day? That's right, the twenty-third of April. He is famous all over the world for writing plays like Romeo and Juliet. Two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch. The Tempest. And the Scottish play Macbeth. He used a quill, an old feather pen, to write with. Each year in Stratford upon Avon, there is a two-day event to celebrate his birthday. Thousands of people come to join in the fun. There is Morris dancing, concerts. And plays. 
There are parades through the town and two people dressed up as William Shakespeare and his wife, Anne Hathaway, wave at the crowd. The highlight of the celebrations for many is when they visit Shakespeare's grave and lay flowers on it. Do you know of any other famous writers who have a special day like Shakespeare? In exercise 3, you are to complete the table. You are to say Shakespeare's birthday, time of year, place and activities and the same information about Festival of Nomadic Civilization. Now, let's listen, look and check. Shakespeare's birthday is on the 23rd of April. It takes place in Stratford-upon-Avon. There is a parade which a teenager leads and carries the quill. There are also people in traditional costumes marching bands, and school children. The mayor puts flowers on Shakespeare's grave. Then there are concerts, competitions, and dancing. The festival of nomadic civilization takes place in July in Astana. There is a mini tent village of yurts with food and traditional crafts, as well as music and dance performances. Your task is exercise four. Think of another cultural festival in our country. You are to collect information under the headings Time of Year, Place, Activities. You are to write a short text for the school English magazine about it. Listen to the model. The Navros Festival takes place on the 22nd of March in towns and cities across the country. There are polo matches, folk dancing and music performances. It is a celebration of the new year and people cook and eat lamb.